Okay, so here is task week. So thanks everybody. Uh, we are doing it online primarily because the the weather is not good. So let's get started. So today again, uh, first thing we'll do is tables. I had given some tasks to you guys to memorize tables. So let's see who all has done the homework. So uh, maybe I'll request everybody to stay unmuted. Go on mute for now. And uh, I will ask questions to each one of you. So OK, uh, we can do this way. Everybody can stay muted. I'll just ask the name. That person unmutes, and then we'll answer the questions. OK? OK. Yeah, everybody go on mute. Let's start with Taswik. Okay. Taswik, you can hear me okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. So let's see how much of tables you remember. You were you had done a very good job in the last class. Let's quickly check. Eight eight. Sixty-four. Nine seven. Sixty-three. Twelve four. Forty-eight. Nine nine ja. Eighty one. Six nine ja. Fifty four. Eight seven ja. Fifty six. Good job. So good job last week. I think you you have you have done good revision of tables and and you seem to be spending time on that. So good job. So this is what last week gets from me today okay uh or he gets this one rather okay all right so last week you can go thank you up. let's check uh, with uh arnav arnav are you ready yeah okay nine seven zero seven eight zero fifty six six four zero Twenty-four. Nine eight. Seventy-two. Twelve five. Twelve five. Um. Thirty-six. Mm -hmm. No, twelve five or sixty. Okay. Anyways, so I think I tricked you by asking questions for twelve, and I think in the last class I had given you assignment till table of nine. So let's stick with table of nine. Let's see. Seven seven. Yeah. 49. 9, 3, yeah. Um, 27. 3, yeah. It's uh, 24. 8, yeah. 64. 7, 7, yeah. 49. 6, yeah. 48. And good job. So, Arnav, you also seem to have spent a good amount of time revising the tables which is good because that will help you you know do some faster now the only thing i would tell you uh Arnav is uh you can focus on table 12 okay okay so up to nine you have done focus on 12 but what i'm saying is don't don't leave table till nine i mean basically you know you have to whatever you know you have to keep on revising it so that it gets faster and more accurate always. Okay. So table of twelve would be your next focus. All right. But make sure that till table of nine, you are not going wrong. All right. Okay. So same thing for uh, Arnav also. Let's go to Ishan. So. Okay. So you had target to memorize table till? Um, eight. Eight, OK. So let's start with. No, it was the same as Arnav. Same as Arnav. Let's, let's, let's go step by step. Obviously, we'll, we'll take that, OK? Let's start till eight first. Then we'll go to nine also, OK? Yes. Eight, eight, yeah. Um, 64. Six, nine, yeah. 
I mean, um, 54. Nine, eight, Jeff. 72. Six, nine, Jeff. 54. Seven, five, Jeff. Um, Thirty-six. Mm -mm. Seven five. Yeah. Thirty-five. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Um, six eight. Yeah. Um, six eights are uh forty-eight. Okay. Nine three. Yeah. Nine threes are twenty-seven. Okay. Seven eight. Yeah. Seven eights are um. 56. Okay. So I can see that Ishan, you have spent some time and you have practiced the tables, but I want you to do more. Meaning, the time we are taking to respond to the questions uh, that we have to minimize, and that will happen only after we memorize the tables. Okay. When we spend time. Okay. So uh, good job for the effort that you have put. So I certainly would ah. give you a thumbs up for the effort that you have put, but I would want you to do more, okay? Meaning, uh, wherever we are going wrong or we are taking time, that we have to fix, okay? So uh, continue spending that five minutes every day. And before the next Saturday, I would want to see a better performance, meaning I would want you to be fast. And I would want you to be accurate as well. Okay. Yeah. Ishan? Yeah. Okay. And now you can also mute yourself right now. Let me go to uh, Kavyan first, then I'll go to Gashika. Okay. So, mm -hmm. and, so Kavyan, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Nine nine ninja. 81. Eight nine ninja. 72. 74. 28. 36. 18. 66. 36. 94. 36. 12. 60. 69. 54. 12. 96. Good job. So this is what Kavyan gets. Okay, let's go to Ashika. And again, trust me, I'm not just trying to make you guys happy by giving a thumbs up. I'm praising you for being accurate and I'm praising you all for being, for putting that effort. So Ishan, uh, you have to just hold it for two more minutes. Let me finish Gashika and Myra also, then I'll come to you, okay? okay. Yeah. So, Gosika, are you ready? Yeah. 12, 5, yeah. 60. 6, 9, yeah. 54. 9, 7, yeah. 63. 6, 9, yeah. 60. No, sorry, 54. Okay, 7, 7, yeah. 49. 6, 7, yeah. 42. 12, 3, yeah. 72. 12, 3, yeah. 36. 8, 8, yeah. 8, 8, so 64. Good job. Okay. So, and again, these good jobs are not meaningless. What I'm seeing is what I'm saying. Okay. So, good job for the hard work. Good job for uh, no, uh, putting that effort to to make it more accurate. Okay, and, and that goes for everybody who has talked so far. Let's go to Myra. Myra, are you ready? Yeah. Seven nine ja. Sixty three. Twelve five ja. Sixty. Twelve nine ja. Some uh one hundred eight. Nine eight ja. So, uh, Eighty. 72. 7, 9, ja. 63. 8, 4, ja. uh, 32. 
सिक्स नाइन जा फिफ्टी फोर सेवन नाइन जा सिक्सटी थ्री फाइव नाइन जा फोर्टी फाइव इलेवन फाइव जा थर्टी फाइव इलेवन फाइव जा फिफ्टी फाइव ओके सो आई 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 कीप ऑन ट्रिकिंग यू गाइस ओके सो so that that's why i know 10 and 11 i don't ask but i'll keep on asking that so 9 8 ja 72 okay all right that was another trick i was distracting myra to see if she is still paying attention to what i'm saying so same goes for myra also all right so everybody did a good job and uh i could see is that in the response yes ishan you have only one minute go ahead i used to bathroom yes sure Arnab, you also had a question. You had raised your hand in between. Yeah, go ahead, Arnab. Ask your question quickly. We are going to start the class now. I mean, we have started the class, but we are going to start what we want to study today. I'm going to go to the bathroom. You yeah. guys plan all the bathroom breaks, everything before the class. Okay. Yeah. Be back in a minute. That is when we are going to start. All right, everybody is all set for the class. Nobody wants to go to the wash washroom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, out of one hour. Back. Yeah, back. All right. We'll wait for Arna also to be back, and then we can start. Okay. So uh, while we're waiting for Arna to uh, come back, just an announcement for you all. Okay. okay cool. So. just an announcement for everybody here okay what i'm doing is the classes that we have on saturday and sunday there is going to be one additional class on wednesday in the evening and that is optional okay wednesday evening 6 to 7 i'm planning to offer an additional class only for you all who wants something to be clarified okay anything outside the class if you have any doubt for any assignment also if you are not clear about it those are the ones uh, those of you can either come in person or you know, see that will be in person so if anybody has any question there is additional class on wednesday from 6 to 7 pm you guys can walk in come over or even join online i mean i i'll keep it online also okay so you can plan that and you can tell your parents that there's no extra money for that that is free okay so it's only to see all my kids who who want that extra one hour for any clarification any doubt uh, resolution or thing like that okay so you can inform your parents also and you can choose whether you want to come on uh, online or you want to be here in person obviously being here in person helps better but uh, you guys can do this okay all right you guys can go inside this with your parents after the class for now let's start so our topic for today is going to be the last topic uh, you know for the third grade i mean since i have all the topics covered Uh, in this group right third fourth and fifth grade there is something called represent and interpret data in third grade and there is something you are learning in third grade but you'll be using that in eighth ninth and tenth grade also so let me start sharing my screen and then we'll see what we want to learn yes sir no um we didn't learn that third grade i didn't at my school though i'm sorry i didn't learn that at my school in third grade everybody would have done that in the third grade don't worry about it and um, you did not yeah i don't think they do teach us they do not teach us i think that's okay so anyways whatever i'm going to share in this class that is going to lay the foundation for you guys to even okay. use that in future classes okay okay all right ishan you have a question Yeah. Um. What are we learning? Cause I kind of like didn't hear you. So we are going to learn 
represent and interpret data okay how do we represent data in different forms and how do we use it okay so everybody can go on mute and same thumb rule applies if you're asking a question make sure that that's a valid question any unwanted question gets you a negative point four negative points in a class not good okay so let's let's start learning things so we are going to learn three things okay we call it picture graph okay line graph line graph and there's something called bar chart okay there are three things that we are going to learn but before we do that let's start understanding why are these needed what is the significance of that how does it actually help now let's look at two things quickly okay i will write one story here i, I will tell one story here okay in one class in one school, let's say, I started a school, let's say. In the first year, I had 20 students. Second year, I got five more students, made it 25. Third year, I lost some students because you know, they, they moved to other cities. I lost 10 students, that became 15. Then I again got uh, 20 additional students, that became 35 and i can go on telling that story okay and then out of uh, this many students again you know i had to move my school to another place and then again i lost 10 more students so the next year i in the fifth year i got 25 students. my my count of students came down to 25. this is a story i'm sure many of you would have hardly understood this now with this information i can write that in the in a, in a like a story now other thing i can do is i can plot this like a graph okay say this is year one here i'll say year one okay this is i'll say year two like like the like the line graph that you would have seen okay line number actually and then i put 20 then i put 25 so here this is number five ten this is 10, 15, 20, 25, so on, 30, 35, okay? Here I am plotting these graphs. So this is third year three, then I have year four, 35, okay? Let's say I am plotting only for these four years. So here on the x-axis, on the horizontal line, I'm saying, this is a year, year one, this is year two, this is year three, year four. And what I'm drawing here is these are like the bars, right? The the, the ice cream bars that you that you would have eaten. These these are the bars. Okay. So these are called that's why they these are they, they look like bars. That's why these are called bar chart. And here on the y side it says five, sorry, 10, 15, 20, 25. So basically I said first year I had 20 students. So see, this is 20. Okay. Next year I got five more students added. So year two I had 25. So this bar is representing 25. Third year I lost three to uh, 10 students, and my total student count became 15. So this this third bar you see here, this is representing 15. Then I added 20 more students in the fourth year. So year four, this bar that you see this if you look at the height of this guy this is matching with 35 maybe i did not make it long enough so so now it is 35 okay so if you just look at this bar graph what do you see it's visible that okay year one there were 20 year to 25 so it became bigger meaning some people got added some students got added next year became smaller meaning something reduced fourth year we saw again it became bigger that means something got added so here this this is this is one representation of data this is how you are representing the data or the information you have it makes it more intuitive you can read it easily if you look at this story that i had on this side it was looking very clumsy maybe 
something you can make out if you pay a lot of attention. But you have to pay a lot of attention. It, it is not intuitive. It is readable, but it is not intuitive. Here, if you look at this, this bar chart on the left, right hand side, it is it is more structured, it is more more you know, in, easy to interpret or easy to understand. This is one of the reasons for adopting this formula or this approach for representation of data. Whenever you have a lot of data to you know, re represent or something from which you want to take some meaning out, that is when you use this chart. Now imagine, again, you guys are too small to think about it, but imagine a big guy a big guy is in somebody let's say who's the ceo of a company who has let's say thousand people working under him and if he has to talk to five different people who are reporting directly to him to get the information and if everybody goes on telling a story for 10 minutes each like what i did in the beginning showing this data or people show this graph which one will be easy for him to understand, him or her, this one, and which will be quick also. Obviously, the one on the right-hand side, because CEO of a company will not have a lot of time like you and me to read the data. For them, every second is you know, costly. So they would make use of that second to get the information quickly, get the meaning out of it, and then make a decision. I think somebody raised a hand. Oh, OK, good. So tell me, whatever I have told so far, any any doubt with that, any confusion? And remember, no question should be asked without a reason. Ishan, go ahead. Um, It's not really like a doubt, but like, like I keep I can't like hear like the name that you're saying because like it kind of sounds like like I can't really hear. It. I said this is a bar chart. Okay. Bar chart is because this looks like those tiny ice cream bars. Yeah. Or or some kind of a bar which is standing like a pillar. Yeah. So that's why it's called bar chart. But but Ishan, the question to you is. Did you understand what I said? I mean, why do we even have to learn about it? Does it really yeah. make sense? Is it of any importance for people? Were you able to follow that part? Yeah. OK. Now, now let's look at one more thing. I'll give some more example to you guys, OK? Now, let's say. Let's say we are tracking temperature of, let's say, McKinney or Fresco, OK, every month. Or let's say we are capturing it for seven days, one week, OK, in the month of January, OK? Let's say we have, yeah, no? I think the bar one is easier than the other one. So that is the problem. There is nothing easy, nothing difficult. What we learn becomes easy. What we pay attention to becomes easy. Okay. And I have not told anything. No, I have not told the second one yet. So hold it for a while. Okay. okay. So now, let's say I am trying to capture temperature of seven days in the month of January. Let's say we picked up a week and say okay let's see how the temperature is fluctuating let's say first day monday okay the temperature was uh, let's say 20 40, 60, 20 40 60 okay so in between we'll have somewhere here 30 here we'll have 50 here we'll have 10 okay so let's say on monday of first week of january okay whoever except me everybody has to be on mute and you will unmute only when you have to talk. Okay. All right. So uh, let's say Monday the temperature was 35 degree Fahrenheit. Okay. Tuesday it increased a little bit and became 38 or 42, let's say. Tuesday. 
Wednesday again there was a cold wave. It came down to 20. Okay. Then on Thursday it slightly improved, became 22. Okay. And then Friday it was a very sunny day. It went up to 50. Okay. Then Saturday it remained at 50. Sunday it came a little bit down and became 40. Okay. So this is Saturday, this is Sunday. Now, here, if you you have two ways of doing it, okay. You can put like a bar chart, like I was saying that this is easy. Um that is also fine. I can make the bars mapping to the number and make it that way. Or I can also just identify those points. Okay, on Monday it was 38, so this point. On Tuesday it was, let's say, 42. Okay, second point, I joined that. Wednesday it became 20, very cold, came down. Okay. Then Thursday it increased a little bit, became 22. So that 22 or 24, whatever temperature was, I joined that. On Friday, it increased to 60, uh, 50, uh, 55. I joined that. Then Saturday, it was again same temperature. Okay. Sunday, it came down to 40. See here, if you look at this line, this is also very easy to understand. Because it tells you that, okay, if it is going up, meaning the temperature is increasing. If it is coming down, temperature is decreasing. Here. So by looking at this graph alone, since you know that this is plotting the temperature for seven days in a week in the month of January, for one of the weeks, just by looking at this graph, you can say a few things. That, okay, temperature is not staying constant. That is one. You, are, you can also say that temperature even dipped to 20 degrees so there was one day which was very cold in this week and also you can find that there was one day or in fact two days when the temperature became very pleasant also it went to 50. so by looking at this line you can make some interpretation you always have to listen to me don't don't keep raising hand in between just hold it till i finish then you can ask questions, okay? If in the middle, if you ask questions, I will lose my chain of thoughts and you will lose what I'm saying, okay? So just hold it. So again, coming back to the point, the, this, this is called line graph because there is no chart here, like, like we had bar chart or you can call it line chart also, that's fine. Line graph or line chart, both are okay. So here, the advantage is it is not, depicted like a like the bar chart but it gives you a trend it tells you how when it is increasing when it is decreasing what is the what is the behavior that you have observed or how how you have, what has been the you know, trend in the temperature fluctuation for the entire week so this is called line chart or line graph we have seen bar chart we just now saw line chart or line graph now let me go back to Arnav and ask. Now you tell me which one is easy or difficult, or both are looking similar. Um, I don't know that. This right. one seems easy, and the other one seems easy. But this line one now is more easier to understand. Right. So trust me, that is the purpose of the data representation part. Okay. We can talk about a very big, complicated story with a lot of information into it, a lot of data into it, but nobody will retain that. If I plot that information form of some chart or some graph, that makes it easy to understand. Okay. Okay. And uh, trust me, there are people, okay? You and I are normal people. We have time to use and we have enough time to waste also. At times we waste also the time, correct? And there'll be half an hour where we'll do nothing. We'll just sit idle. That is what where we are wasting time. And that's okay. That's perfectly fine. But then think of the people who have a lot of responsibility on them, their shoulder, right? Those CEOs are the big people who have run their big business, right? They're, for them, every second, every minute is very important. Imagine the president of uh, America or, or 
as you know, a prime minister of any country, they have to look after the entire country. Would they have half an hour, one hour to waste? Probably not. So that is where, and they will not have enough time to even read, hear your or my story, right? That's why these big people, big people don't meet us, correct? They know that we are normal people, we have enough time to waste, but they don't have that time. So they always look for opportunity how to save time. And they only talk to people who give them very quick information in very little time so that they make right decision. Let's say by looking at this, if in the month of January, there was one day, it was very cold. So what, what let's say the, if, if we are talking about the mayor of you know, McKinney, okay, or Frisco, what, what information is there for him? That, okay, there are few days which are extremely cold. That means people who are poor, who don't have their houses, it's going to be very difficult for them to survive. So they have to make some more shelters, some extra shelters with a lot of heating arrangement. So that people who don't have houses, they can go and save their lives. Correct? That's the importance of this data. If this data was not there with that, uh, the person who has to make decisions, trust me, people could lose their life as well. Right? So that's why this representation of data becomes so very critical for some people to make decisions very fast. If not, nobody will have time to read a big paragraph to get some meaning out of it. If they put that effort, wonderful. If they don't, there's some some after effect of that, which could be as bad as we as we as we talked. Correct. Right? So that's the that's the purpose of these graphs or data representation. This just gives you a very quick quick insight into the information to make a decision, and this becomes very critical for people for whom time is less or time is money. You and I are fine. I mean, we, we can waste 10 minutes. That's okay. We are not big people. We are normal people, right? But but for people, let's say, think about even a big sports person who has to spend four hours in the gym, five, three, four hours you know, practicing. Then then they have to you know, uh, keep roaming around to play tournaments. They have to spend some time with family also. They will probably have much less time than what we have every day. And that is where any and every information that comes to them, they have to always find ways to get that information very quickly and make meaning out of it and then make a decision. Yeah. Any questions so far? No. Okay. So we have talked about the bar chart. We talked about the line graph. Now let's look at another simpler thing. Okay. This is where I have a problem. I'm not very good at drawing, right? You guys know that. So I will, I'll make some drawings and you guys will laugh, but that's okay. We'll manage with that. Let's say, let's look at which, which car company you guys like. Just tell me one name. Ferrari. Bugatti. 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 Tesla. Bugatti. Bugatti. Tesla Model Y, X, whatever, whatever. Bugatti. Oh, okay. Okay. Lamborghini. Bugatti. Yeah, Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Bugatti. Bugatti is way better. Everybody on mute. You will score negative point. Don't do that. Okay. Now, Stop. Bugatti, Lamborghini, everything ruled out. I'm talking about a company which makes a lot of cars. Bugatti and Lamborghini, they make few cars, much lesser number of cars. Okay. So let's look at some a model or a company which makes a lot of cars. Let's say Volkswagen. Okay. Okay. Nobody has Volkswagen, right? That's why I use Volkswagen. Otherwise, Honda, Toyota will fight with each other. Uh, Honda will fight with Chevrolet. Chevrolet will fight with uh, Lexus. I'm not starting that fight. Yeah, yeah. Gosica and Kavya. Tesla. 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 Tesla also. Okay. So people who have Tesla, right? There are some people have Tesla. That's why I'm I'm picking up a model that nobody has in our group. Okay. So that's why there's no fight. All right. So, uh, anyways, uh, jokes apart. Let's let's come to the actual point. So. the 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 gossip is over okay i'm now we are doing this who is playing with this arnav hands down hands down hands down there's nothing to ask we have just started okay so 
let me try drawing a picture of a car okay let's say it's some company okay i'll not say which company but let's say it's some company okay this this one picture it represents a car okay now let's say let's talk about the ceo of volkswagen or that company whatever company it is he wants to know how is the production of car happening every year okay so let's say he wants to know last four years data let's say 2009 20 21 22 and 2023 20, okay the four years so he wants to know how many cars were produced every uh, in last four years every year okay and like any other ceo right he doesn't have time okay this so somebody made this okay i'm just quickly running through this okay so that we don't lose time drawing it 2020 somebody draw, has drawn two two images three images okay this is second image this is third image all all these are cars okay you guys have to believe me okay then this is the fifth okay and then okay so here what do you see three three images four images four images and then seven images and every every image of a car or every picture of a car all these pictures are for car okay even if you don't trust me okay every picture is a picture of a car and every picture represents one picture of a car represents 10000 cars okay so here in the year 2020 um if you see here on the uh, come on i'm not drawing anything here on this side on the vertical one okay on the vertical line i'm not writing anything i'm just putting pictures so in 2020 every picture of a car represents let's say 10000 cars so in the year 2020 for this particular company made 10000 into 3 30000 cars in year 2021 Every image represents 10,000. So they made 40,000 cars here. 10,000, 10, 10, 20,000, this is 30,000, this is 40,000. Then year 2022, they made, again, four pictures, meaning four, four into 10,000, 40,000 cars. And then in year 2023, if you see, they made three plus three plus one, seven. So seven to 10,000, that is 70,000 cars. When the, when the CEO looks at this graph, it looks interesting some cars are looking like cars some cars are not but when when the ceo looks at this chart or graph he or she can easily make out that yeah i see 2020 we started well we had we were making 30000 21 22 we we improved by 10000 i know against 2020 and then 2023 we did something very very good we grew from 40,000 cars to 70,000 cars. Basically, we started making 70,000 cars per year from 2023. I mean, what is that? You're lagging. Can everybody else hear me okay? Uh, it's, it's just like you're lagging a lot. No, yeah. Kind of. Uh, it's your It's positive. I don't know. I don't Hold it. There could be a problem at your end. There could be a problem at my end. So that's why I'm checking with everybody else. Is it a problem at your end or is a problem at my end? So that's why I'm checking with Gashika, Ishan, Moira, Taswik. I'm lagging us, Rusty. Yeah, you're lagging. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. it, 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 okay. So everybody go on mute. Now you can hear me okay, right? Yeah. Now we can, but sometimes it lags. That's okay. That's okay. I see that that is something that we have to live with. See, when the weather is bad, when yes, the situation lad. is bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me okay? 
Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to the picture. Okay. So I was saying that every picture, every image of is of a car. Okay. And one picture is worth 10,000 cars, let's say. Okay. So if you look at this picture, what you can make out is in the year 2020, there's three pictures, meaning three to 10,000, 30,000 cars. This many cars were manufactured by that company. In 2024, what you see four pictures that is four into 10,000 40,000 cars were manufactured or sold whatever you call it in 2022 same number four four cars so 40,000 cars were manufactured and sold in year 2023 what do you see there are seven pictures or seven images that is equivalent to 70,000 cars manufactured and sold so when any big guy who is running out of time we look at this chart he or she can make out very quickly that yeah i see the performance of our company how we are doing it where when we were able to make more cars which year we we increased so see in 2023 this they let's say they made 70000 cars that would have happened because of some reasons right because before making 40000 and they jumped from 40 to, uh, to 70,000, that means they would have brought in some automation, some new machines, new factory, some extra uh, facility for extra you know, manufacture of car, something they would have done. This data only gives them that view that, okay, why, how my number is changing, and they, they know why it has changed. They can figure it out, right? Let's say if the number of people working for them remains the fixed, the number of factories remain the same, and still they are making less cars or less, you know, uh, they are doing less production, that means somebody is not working, okay? Or maybe the machines are not efficient. So basically for those big people, this data gives them that insight or understanding to make important decisions. If in the factory, the same workforce, same number of people, same number of you know, uh, uh, parts being assembled, and still they're making less number of cars. That means people are not working or machines are not working. And they are big people. They know how to make a decision, right? Either they will train them or they will fire them if the production goes down. Yes, Gashika, Kavya. Yeah, I need to go to the bathroom. Go ahead. So I am just doing a recap in the meantime with everybody else. Okay. So this is this kind of a diagram or a graph is called picture graph. So, so far we have seen three types. One is called bar chart, where you guys saw bars representing different you know, uh, uh, data elements. Then we saw the line graph, similar purpose, different look and feel. Then we, we we are just seeing the picture graph. This also does pretty much the same. This is even more intuitive. This this will be much easier for you no know, uh, for people to kind of you know relate to that. Let's say somebody wants to count the number of birds in a zoo year on year. What they will do? They'll make picture of birds. Uh, these are not looking like birds. So so I'm saying I mean you'll make the picture of the birds, right? And so basically, when, when you have a graph, by using pictures of the animals or objects, th those are called picture graph. Other ones are like the line graph that we saw and the bar chart that we saw. Okay. The other three things that I would want you guys to know when it comes to data representation or interpretation. And I have just tried to explain you guys why even this is needed we have data we can read data we can make meaning out of it why do i have to even worry about plotting these graphs is it actually helping or it is just increasing my effort so i was just trying to explain that if somebody looks at this data it becomes very easy to understand by looking at the trend or looking at how how it's, it's been changing with time okay so that's the purpose of the the graph or the chart that we looked at okay so 
and always on the on the horizontal axis this is called horizontal axis or x axis and y axis y axis represents the the value x axis remains uh, represents the mostly either the time or different uh, situations basically anybody has any question so far let's let's get to a general discussion let's 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 discuss some situations and see what is your interpretation of what we have discussed so far let's say okay let let's do some interactive uh, thing right now so let's say if you have to talk about the population of a country for last 10 years which chart you would use bar graph okay. oh, what do Hmm? I got Sean did something weird. The what is he it? changed the background somehow. Yeah, the line graph. How do you do that? Yeah, I asked to uh, put it. So let's let's not worry about the background, foreground, the look and feel. We are talking maths. Okay. Let's take I said yeah. Like I agree. He said the bar graph. I thought it was a bar graph. It, no. So, so Kavyan said bar graph. Gosika said line graph. And I agree to both of them. It's it's always you can choose, right? If if let's say if if I have to let, let let's do it right now. If I have to let's say talk about the population of a country for last three years or ten years. I can as well say on the horizontal axis, I'll say, okay, this is year one, this is year two, this is year three, this is year four, this is year five, six, seven. Let's go till seven, okay? And I will say in million. One, it's one million, this is two million, this is three million, this is four million. Uh, we had, let's say we are talking about a small country, okay? Year one, Let's say it was 1.3 million, somewhere here. I can put a bar chart, okay? Year two was 1.4 million. I'll put a slightly bigger bar chart. Year five became 2 million, let's say. The bar chart size increases. Let's say people migrated to other country and they lost some population. It became 1.8 million. Again, it grew to one, uh, 2 million, then it became 2.2 .2 million, and then it became 3 million in the seventh year. So all these bars, right? Uh, this can be repainted as a bar chart. Now, I can as well repaint this as a line graph also. L let's, all these bar charts, right? Let's let's say these are the, the points. If I, Imagine we don't have bars below. I have just put the point. I will join these lines. think we don't have bars underneath okay so i can choose even line graph to represent the growth of population or change in population for the country year on year for last seven years okay excuse me so you can always choose ultimately the objective is that you should be able to get very intuitive view of the data that you have okay you can choose bar chart line chart even you can make it more interesting if your drawing skills are better than mine okay you will say i will not use this i will use picture graph i'll say okay every point one million people is one 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 head okay okay every point one million you will make that many heads here okay so we talked about first uh, year population being 1.4 million so that means you'll have to draw 14 you know uh, 14 heads like this okay and, and and then you know, every year you can put 0.1 into that many, whatever population was there. You 
you get that many heads and you draw it. It becomes a picture graph also. So you always have that option. It's just a matter of how you can draw to make it more intuitive. So there's no there's no formula which says you have to only use this one because this whole exercise of drawing bar graph, line graph, or a picture graph is to make it simpler. That's why they don't give you a formula or tell you a logic for doing this. We can always choose our our you know, uh, option for the for representing it in a more intuitive way or more understanding or a simpler way okay so you can always choose line graph bar graph or a picture graph depending on what you like more what you can draw easily what what you enjoy doing so if you enjoy drawing pictures again uh, unlike me you can use picture graph also okay but imagine a situation if you have to draw one person one head for one person and you're talking about 1.4 million Imagine how big a sheet you would need for drawing it. Okay. So that's where you'll have to just think through it and then plan for how you want to represent that. Okay. All right. Any questions we have? Hey, see what's up. Okay. So uh, that is from the next level, next class. Okay. Which is going to start at five o'clock. Yeah. Okay. In four minutes from now. Anybody has any question? No? Guys are tired. Okay. All right. So thank you so much. You guys can drop off. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy your weekend. Good news is the spring break is over. Monday the school begins. That's bad. No, yeah, I know, I know. I was just kidding. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you guys tomorrow. Okay? All right. Bye-bye.